Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and we're back with more Adventure Manager. And our team's all rested up. We got people doing auto adventures. And it's time for us to go find out what we're going to be doing in the Stormy Sea. What's up with this siren song? Quell it. Alright. Blast! I'm aghast! I thought for sure the volcano would lure Mirage. It seems a strong wind is bending my hat. What's that? To the east in the sea, your grace, it looks like there will never be peace. Alright, well, I guess we have to come over here to incite peace, it sounds like. So let's do it. We're going to incite peace with murder. Murder of the lowest level. Got our people a little bit more equipment. Got our equipment builder guy, our blacksmith. I had to take a moment because that's it's soundtrack's awesome. I got the blacksmith up to the level where he can start crafting tier 10 gear, and he crafted a really good staff for lemon that he's too low level to use, and then I got discouraged from doing any more. So we got a drowned seafarer, which is some sort of dark knight, and a sea lion, which is going to be a uh, warrior of some sort. Now let's take out this drowned seafarer. And this sea lion. Sea Lion. He'll go down, but it's not that serious. Go down, Sea Lion. We'll take out this Drowned Seafarer real quick. Anchors takes a couple punches, but nothing he can't handle. We might as well do a quick rest up to get Anchors back. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We can get attacked by dudes, and we can lose a bunch of energy, and it won't even be that bad. We, there's an Armored Sea Star, and he's a monk of some sort. Let's see if we can take away his turn. We can. How wonderful. Let's punch the sea lion straight in the face. And use this opportunity to heal up Anchorus. Oh, yeah, let's make sure everybody's brilliant. And we can see if we can take away the sea lion's turn. We cannot. Ooh. Ooh, but can we kill the armored sea star? We can. Heal up Chocobo. Anchorus has a tiny bit of damage on him, but I think we can do alright. I think we'll be alright with that. Dorfurius finishes block percentage level 5 at the university. That is both cool and a little frightening, because I have no idea what to send him in. This is going to take a while to figure out. Well, that was less concerning. Dorfurius apparently never did his original attributes stuff, so I can just have him going in there and boosting his stats. The party's flexing! Excellent! Always be flexing! Caress them! There's a spotted ray and a poison anima. Alright. Well, the anima is going to try to shoot us, and the spotted ray is going to try to heal people, so let's try to take out that spotted ray. Bless Anchor, so maybe he can... Or not, we can fizzle that. I was going to say maybe we can take out the, the poison Nuba in a single punch, but it's not going to work out that way. We don't need Arcane Brilliance this round. Arcane Brilliance just takes time that we do not need to worry about. See? Fight's over. No Arcane Brilliance. Everything went super well. Chocobo even learned how to dodge a little better for it. I mostly have Chocobo learning dodge because I don't know what else to have him learning. And the less damage Chocobo can take, the better. And dodging out of the way of attacks is a very effective way of taking less damage. So there's an Angry Jellyfish, this is going to be a wizard. Angry Gull is going to be a uh, rogue. And another Poison Nima for the ranging. This time we will Arcane Brilliance. It seems like it's going to be a little bit more hectic this time. We'll try to take out this Jellyfish. Ooh! But the initial attack misses. Luckily one of the backup attacks crocked and hit him, but it's not super good. Let's see if we can take out the turn. Cannot. Freeze it to death. It's done. No more of that guy. Punch that angry goal and you're gonna miss that. Anchorus. Anchorus, why? It hurts, Anchorus. Why are you missing so much? Why is everybody missing so much? Is this goal super speedy? Is it really good at the dodges? I don't know. It's dead now. Maybe that goal was just really good at dodging. That poison meme is not going to get a, a turn before we're able to murder it because of wonderful Vile Strikes. I love Vile Strikes. Our other Dark Knights completing stuff in the university. Excellent. I like Dark Knights. Excellent. Onward. Let's continue finishing up this entire column on the map. What do we got here? A chest? Anything cool in it? We haven't found anything cool in a chest in a long, long time. But the chests are kind of fun to find. Oh, Pigrotus is a little hurt. I didn't even notice. Well, we're gonna fight a bunch of drowned seafarers and a poison anema. They're all regenerative, deadly, and armored. 
Yee. This is a perfect time for Grotus to be low on health, right? Alright, we'll take out this one first. Uh, have people focus on you, Chocobo. Let's get that entire back line focusing on you, Chocobo. And we'll bless up Anchorus so that he can start doing some real damage. He brilliance everybody so that everybody can be getting energy back. And we'll take out the first Seafarer. Make this Seafarer focus on Chocobo, but she'll fizzle. Luckily, this one decides to attack Chocobo, so it's kind of a moot point. And we will try... Take out this Seafarer. Boom! Done. I don't know if I needed both attacks on the Seafarer, but... We did both attacks on him. We have to heal up Anchorus because he's taking a few more hits than I would like. Ooh, that attack missed the Seafarer. And part of that attack got parried. Two extra attacks made it through. The triple attack works, people. Haha! -ha. Well, unfortunately, the triple attack was enough to do any serious damage because it's the initial attack that all of Anchorus' oomph is behind. The rest are kind of just calm blowing out after the initial haymaker. Man, our people are going to need higher hit percentages. This is getting a little upsetting with all the misses. These guys aren't dodging or anything. Jeez. Come on now. Let's get this Seafarer down. With the slowness. Mm, yeah, just poke him. Poke him today. Punch that Nemo. Slice it. And heal up Chocobo. We might even finish this with everybody all healed up, all happy. But of course, Anchorus is going to miss again. What's, what's the matter, Anchorus? What is your hit percentage at? That could be cool in the future, maybe. But what is your hit percentage at, Anchorus? What are you doing over here? You're over here with a hit percentage of 88. No wonder you're missing a bunch. That is pretty low. Maybe we'll have to teach you some stuff in the university to up that. Alright, well, let's continue just going around the edges of the map. We find a big battle of people that we are pretty comfortable beating up at this point, so... Mmm, Lemon Fizzle's Arcane Brilliance, which is not the best way to start this off, but I still think this would be A-OK. -okay. The Sea Star defends himself, so... That guy goes down in one punch. This is all gonna be okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We don't really get a whole lot for it. But that's okay, we didn't really have to do a lot for it to get it. Words. Your party is singing. Ditch them. No singing. Alright, punishment for singing? Chest. I really don't understand how a lot of those decide what to do things are supposed to work out. I just, I just always do it. These guys are punks. And they're gonna go down as such. And we're gonna rest up a little bit, because Grotus took a punch in there that he couldn't heal. <laughs> Alright. So glad I found that rest button. Otherwise I would feel tempted to portal out all the time. It's helpful. It saves time. It's a time saver. Plus, I don't mind getting into a few extra fights. We could use the extra experience in this team. We're way under level. Ooh, a couple of drowned seafarers and a spotted ray. They're not long for this world, not long for this world at all. And that was correct. Not long for this world were they. We might just be able to find, scout out the entire perimeter of this entire dungeon before finding anything interesting. There's a bloody glove on the floor? We'll just kick it into the ocean for HP restore. Excellent. I will kick all of the bloody objects into the ocean. What do you want, Drowned Seafarer? Do you want to die? Because that's exactly what's about to happen to you. Oh no, you parried that one. But we'll holy strike you for the finish. Only one dude left. No need to arcane brilliance, but you'll miss. So maybe, maybe I should have. Wow. All those extra attacks, Anchorus. Doing your job! Gotta go to the university and deal with some Jeffy finishing up his blocks. Kind of exciting, we're only one fight away from a bunch of our main party finishing up their university courses. Ooh, a chest. This chest has some 
better things than usual, but nothing too exciting. Are we going to be able to scout the entire perimeter? It's kind of cool. Ooh, a jellyfish and a drowned seafarer. Well, they're not long for this world. We'll even bless Anchorus to make sure that he has a higher hit chance and extra damage. Boom! Oh, but the parry will make it null. And Chocobo is going to miss again. Fine, we'll just take out this jellyfish with Opigrotus then. Throw some cross strikes. You get a second chance. Agarus finishes out the punch. And a bunch of level ups, a bunch of university stuff finished off. Excellent, excellent. The party grows much stronger. Alright, so much strength gained that round. We'll rest up because everybody's just a little bit injured. And continue onward. And on we find a vampiric, energized, parrying, armored sea star. Well, that seems like a mouthful. We'll have to take him down. Uh, maybe Arcane Brilliance was the way to go, but it's not what I ended up doing. Oh, but you miss with that, even with the blessing. That hurts. Alright, we'll, we'll Brilliance this round then, because of your miss. Heal up Chocobo. And throw more Vile Strikes on this goal back here, because this goal is going to go down. Ooh, the extra attacks. The extra attacks! <laughs> Chesky finishes dodge too, and we actually get a nice little hammer. A lot of strength and intelligence on it, and a lot of extra max HP. I don't know, that could be helpful for uh, Chocobo when he's level 47, which he's nowhere near at the moment. Alright, I'm a little tapped for cash at the moment now. Boy, alright, let's finish out exploring the perimeter of this area. Elpigrotus is talking to nothing. Well, let's address it. Nibble him, I guess. That's addressing it, right? And in here we find drowned seafarers, jellyfish, and an armored sea star. None of which seem like they're going to be too terribly hard to deal with, and it will take a fair amount of time. So I'll see you That didn't take too long, but it also wasn't very interesting. But Anchorus leveled up. He found it interesting. Alright. We've searched the entire perimeter, so we're going to have to go inward a little bit to find some of these guys that we need to find. Lemon briefly pauses and thinks about taxes. Whoa, why would you think about taxes? Restore HP. Alright, well let's finish out this row then. What do we got? What do we got? We surprise a bunch of garbage dudes. Oh no, but we miss. Whatever will we do? Beat them all up. That's what we'll do. We'll even get a nice little emerald for it. Haha. -ha. A nice little amulet. Seems like it's going to be making a little whirlpool thing, which is kind of cool on the map. I wonder if all of the enemies are going to be all clustered in the middle of this junk. Murder, murder, murder. Nomia is the target of an invasion, but... 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 We have all this left, and... Hold on. Alright, fine. Fine! We'll go deal with the invasion. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing any of the bosses in the Stormy Sea today. I think we're just going to be dealing with this invasion. Uh... Do we have enough energy to deal with it? You just need to be... At 450, I think, to be able to deal with an invasion. Alright, well, let's do make it heroic. And see if anything is going to pose a threat in here, if we're just going to watch the final battle. Clerics, Rangers, and Barbarians, all level 40. These guys are sad. So very sad. Uh, I'm kind of tapped for cash, so I think I'm going to deal with the University after I finish this out. Ooh, Anchor is trapped and takes quite a few hits. It's no good, it's no good. Will it be okay? Probably. Anchorus is taking more hits. It's no good. We'll have to grade or heal him. Doesn't fizzle. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. We took a minute, but we're also still pretty easy. Next! 
Oh, oh, these guys. These guys are gonna be easy as well. Super easy. The easiest. Ooh, we even get a mythical tooth dagger of mythicness. We are starting to get a little heavy on our items, so I'm gonna leave that junk behind. And here we find the blue orb, a cursed light, evil tree, and a pirate ranger. Still, a bunch of stuff that's not really going to pose us any sort of problem, but might take a few moments to defeat. And they were pretty easy to defeat. Leave that junk behind. Pick this junk up. We got four spaces for whatever this boss guy drops us. And it's the greater earth elemental. We'll focus on Chocobo. He can take some hits. And we'll try to take out these, uh... Barbarians. The Pyre Barbarian and the Bull Barbarian. Ooh. You just focus firing on everyone, right? That's not focus firing at all. It's spread fire. I don't know why I called it focus fire. Maybe that's because that's what I'm doing. I'm focus fire. Ow. I don't like that shit, Greater Earth Elemental. Some garbage. Get it out of here. I can't heal up everybody as quickly as you do damage to everybody. Alright, well, heal up Chocobo. Fizzle and be sad. Crap. Alright, well, well, well. Take out this bull. Ugh. Alright, heal up Chocobo now. Alright, take out this bull. Or miss. Whatever. Fine. Take out the bull now. Or get parried. Whatever. Arcane Brilliance. We need more energy. Alright, heal Anchorus back up. Or fizzle. Jeez. Alright, use a big attack. Kill that bull. Fight the Earth Elemental. Defend yourselves, team. This is supposed to be easy. I apologize if you hear that siren in the back. Apparently some shit's going on in the neighborhood. Oi. Boy, your attacks are big and they hurt. I don't like them. Die. Die! Die! Stop being shielded and die. <laughs> Oi. I want more energy. That's what I really need. That's what I really crave. More energy for my team. We're all back to full health-ish, so I don't think anybody's gonna die. It's just taking a while. Frost striking for the victory? No! Barely does anything. Oh no, I should have arcane brilliant. Dang, I really should have, because all my attacks are missing and Chocobo's taking heavy hits. Heal up Chocobo, it'll be okay. It will be okay. Anchorus will punch him to death, yes? Yes. And more people will finish stuff in the university, and ooh, too many things. Alright, well we definitely want this mythical shield of awesomeness, because that's cool. We definitely want this unique earth and staff, because that actually might be better than what Lemon has equipped right now. <laughs> um, we'll take this legendary wind staff, because it's uh, big and shiny, and we'll take this legendary drake robe for the same reason. Leave behind this junk bit. Oh no, it'll let us take it. Cool. I thought it would make us leave behind. bail out of here and uh, take a moment to sell some stuff that I'm not going to use because uh, I'm a little worried about the possibility of me not being able to accept my rewards but now I'm not alright well I cleared the invasion what are you gonna give me some junk that's fine well, this episode's going long because of the invasion. I didn't end up fighting any of the mini-bosses in the Stormy Sea, which means we'll probably take out all three of them in the next episode. But, before we can do that, my team's going to need to rest a little bit because that invasion took it out of them. So, I'll do that in between the episodes. You've been rolling with Nat20. I'm Nat20, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!